next to me is Johnny Nelson. The this bout is scheduled for 12 rounds. A lot of trash talk between these two. And there's the bell for round one. Beautiful counter shot. I sit in the pocket when your punches are this slow. Nice counter shot with the right hand. They're both trying for a knockout. Nice counter shot. Neither man really defending themselves. fighter relies a lot on their instincts and reaction time. You've got to get in there quick to punch your opponent before he gets his fist back to block. You're fighting a counter punch and you've got a dummy shot. Make them react from that, then react then. I know it's hard to think that way, but counter punchers, they're watching you, watching your every move, that every throw. Nice exchanges from both men in this round. A very close match. It shows the skill, the discipline, the respect both fighters have for each other because no one dare do anything out of turn. Perfect punch. And this with that jab. Still swinging with nothing left. Nice job landing with that right hand counter. That left counter was perfectly timed. Very close round with 10 seconds to go. Punch, counter punch. What would you tell this Here guy? Go. He's got to do something two. different. Who's going to land well, the first sometimes big shot? It be the Safe to say that last sound. round was a nightmare. Let's see if we can turn it around here. This is one of those situations. You've just been hurt. You've got to get out there again. Be smart. Be sharp. Don't be a fool. Don't get sucked in. Make him fight your fight. Hold him, tie him up just until your head clears again and your legs come back again. Because if you don't, he's going to pop you off. This fighter told us yesterday, if he doesn't win by knockout, he doesn't consider it a real victory. That's the mentality he has. A win is not just a win for some fighters. They need to feel the blood, the crunch. They need to get that win. There's a counter shot. He just misses with that jab. Left counter scores. Nice exchanges from both men in this round. Perfectly matched. Skill for skill. Tap for tap. Now this fight will say, you know what, I'm just that notch above you. And so I've got to respect both of them more than happy. Halfway through the round and there's not a lot separating these two. fight is all about distance for this man, and you can see he's using that length advantage. Very smart, very sharp. This is the fit young man style that he's got to get inside that long reach. Not many fights can do that. This round's still up for grabs with just 10 seconds to go. Exchange punches. Talk about. Let's get it started in round three. Well, there's no doubt about who won that last round. Let's see what he has for us here in the next one. Hey, those punches add up. Nice counter shot. with the right counter. Left 
punch. Positives and negatives in the heavyweight division are the same. You can win the fight with one punch, and you can lose the fight in one punch. I've seen it so many times. One punch changes everything. I've seen guys winning hands down. They decide to showboat and show off them. Blam! It's over. So they've got to stay sharp. One punch changes everything. Beautiful counter punch. And they figure out the combination to this safe. A big left, but doesn't score with it. Good counter punching for both these athletes. That punch landed. One moment changes everything, especially in this division. Defense here at all. And he misses with that jab. A very competitive round with 10 seconds left. to the fourth round. Safe to say that last round was a nightmare. Let's see if we can turn it around here. Now he knows he's been hurt. He's going to come out and put the pressure on. He's going to throw the kitchen sink at you. You've got to be ready for that. Don't fight fire with fire. Hold him off. Be smart because he's going to try and put you under pressure. He knows your legs are gone. He knows your head's not cleared. Be sharp. Nice offensive display landing that left counter. a power puncher you're not as concerned with how many punches you throw it's about how many you land and how hard they are i've seen certain fighters that can depend on just their power alone forget tactics they know the second they touch you it's done that's where the confidence comes from the brown bomber in some trouble this guy certainly has a huge chin believe what we're seeing here. Some nice exchanges from both men in this round. So close, so close. How can you separate them? It's going to be a hard night tonight for the judges. He misses with that jab. back out of the pocket here. Look how slow these punches are. He misses with that jab. Left counter punch will score. One punch could change every very close round with 10 seconds to go. Sweet music to his ear. Back into the fray here in round five. Safe to say that last round was a nightmare. Let's see if we can turn it around here. That was a tough last round. Now you've got to make sure he doesn't put it on him. That's what he's going to try and do. So tie him up, hold him, lean on him. Don't get drawn into a fight. Not yet. Not until your senses have come back. Nice job landing that left counter punch. Fighters certainly not going to outthrow their opponent by any means, but they will. Oh, Joe Lewis just got caught. Well, he's showing us he's got an iron chin, but at what cost? He's got to think about his future. Didn't wait long to get back and get engaged. That counter shot lands. Big swing and a miss.
exchanges from both men in this round. Oh, what a punch! In the early rounds of a fight, you'll see two boxers feel each other out, test each other's power, and I think this boxer has decided I can walk through anything that lands. This is when you get in the ring feeling like you're King Kong because you know you've got a chin that is not going to get dented. Punch. What a punch. This round's still up for grabs with just 10 seconds to go. Good left counter that lands. the bell to start round six. Off their stools and ready to go. The Let's hope this round does not seem to be working here. What's the effort to cover now? Wow. They've got a block it. They've got a block it. They've got to come out now and style it out. Get on the back foot. Jab. Rest on the jab. Be smart and pop until your legs come back. Then, put the pressure on. A perfect counter shot. Missed him with that uppercut. One of these fighters is starting to run out of gas. What do you do as a fighter when you just don't have the energy? What can they change? Can they slow the pace down? Can they hope to, to, to knock them out early? What can they do? They've got to concentrate and relax. Because you know what you can do in the gym. You can do it in the fight. You've got to relax. Nice exchanges from both. It's knockout or bust for both of these fighters. And it appears they weathered the storm. How? I'm not sure. Knows the jab, but it doesn't score. How do they use this fighter's aggression against them? How do you deal with an aggressive fighter? What you do is you fight, fire, we fight. You either give it and back because that's where they're comfortable, or you play calm, play cool. Catch and shoot. East, despite what the judges' scorecards read, there are no losers in this one. down big time on the scores. You know, I've been in... There's the bell to start round seven. Safe to say that last round was a nightmare. Let's see if we can turn it around here. They're both going for the KO. It's so obvious. They call it the chin. How strong is your chin? Do you have a glass chin? These are things that can affect the fight. Don't get trigger happy, because all of a sudden you're gonna be gassing yourself out trying to get that shot, and that's when they catch you. The perfect counter lands. No rest for the weary. Punch is coming from every angle. Some nice exchanges from both men in this rank. Throws the jab, but does not score. Skill for skill, tap for tap. She's like a match made in heaven. seen in the past from this fighter, they don't get concerned when they lose some of the earlier rounds because they know they've got that power that can strike at any moment. Power, that power might be the do or die. That power might be the, the, the equalizer. Nice counter. Solid punch. Oh, 
very competitive round with 10 seconds left. You, all three judges here and there's the bell give down round round to coming off that move. fantastic so last round let's see if they can keep his momentum going if they keep this same kind of pace up they've got this fight they both want a highlight reel knockout seen in the past from this fighter they don't get concerned when they lose some of the oh and joe lewis is hurt he is hurt no we don't see a knockdown good counter right hand again still waiting for this fighter to show some defensive ability catch and shoot with the left counter good job good counter left hand there all the time. Nice exchanges from both men in this round. So that left lands. There's no way this fighter can go punch for punch. Their resistance to these blows just isn't the same. The problem with having a chin that everybody knows if they hit you, you're hurt, you're gone. You've got to protect that, but you've also got to get your shots off. And they forget, you can bang too. We'd like to see this fighter protect themselves a little better. You know the scorecards are going to be all over the place in this one. secret who has the both fighters starting to get tired as we start round nine coming off that fantastic last round let's see if he can keep his momentum going he just gets out of the way of that right uppercut and endurance are not an issue for this fighter who continues to be aggressive as the rounds wear on. Sometimes when you have a fight, the best way to beat a fight is not give them what they want because they want to get you there. They want you to stand there, talk to over them, and have a tail. That's what they do in the gym every single day of the week. What you've got to do is you've got to frustrate them as they set their shot. Get out of the way. And they'll get so angry, so frustrated because they can't work. punching from both these fighters. Some nice exchanges from both men in this round. Looks like this fighter did not work on defense as training camp. They're both trying for a knockout. No rest for the week. Joe Lewis just got caught. Didn't wait long to get back and get engaged. This is that uppercut. And counter punching. This round could go either way. Ten seconds to go. Glad to it's round 10. Safe to say that last round was a nightmare. Let's see if we can turn it around here. When we talk about a fighter having power, don't just look at the head punches they throw. Look at the body shots. That can be the real difference. 
It's the one who draws first blood, Todd. That's what you've got to look at. If you hit and you know you're in there with a banger, you've got to be on it, but you've got to be confident. When you're a power puncher. You're not as concerned with how many punches you throw. It's about how many you land and how hard they are. Exchanges from both men in this round. Left shot lands. This fighter is not interested in throwing one shot at a time. They throw combinations and they throw them non stop. Having so much speed, what happens to your opponent is you get caught to ribbons, and that's where the referee has to jump in and stop the fight. And you know this is going to happen, so you rush your work. You think, I've got to get him inside close rounds. No power in those punches. Deontay Wilder rocked right now. He's in some serious trouble. This round could go either way. Ten seconds to go. Let's start 11. It's safe to say that last forward, round was a nightmare. Let's see if we can round. turn it around here. He's a knockout without a doubt. Needs to go out there and think, right, you know what? Next round, you're getting it. You're getting it. Kitchen sink. They score again with the left hand. Good counter punch. This is certainly an aggressive fighter, but that doesn't always mean success. How many times have you seen a fighter chase a superior athlete around the ring and just get picked apart even though they were the one pushing the tempo? I've seen some aggressive fighters. They can terrorize the life out of you before they've even thrown a shot. And Deontay Wilder just got clipped. See how good he is defensively, keeping those gloves up, the guard high, paying dividends as it seems that that moment of trouble has passed. Nice exchanges from both men in this round. Coming back to life now, starting to land some punches. just got clipped and he's in a world of trouble. I don't know if I've ever seen him this hurt before. And right back into the fray. Tried to score with a jab. Great counter right hand there. And a counter left. It doesn't always pay to be first. It pays to be last. They defending a very competitive round with 10 seconds left. Joe Lewis in trouble. Oh. At this point, you got to believe he can't win on the scorecards. Going to need a knockout every second, every minute. And there's the bell to start round 12. Safe to say that last round was a nightmare. Let's see if we can turn it around here. Now he knows he's been hurt. He's going to come out and put the pressure on. He's going to throw the kitchen sink at you. You've got to be ready for that. Don't fight fire with fire. Hold him off. Be smart because he's going to try and put you under pressure. He knows your legs are gone. He knows your head's not cleared. Be sharp. We both know who the bigger power puncher is. There's a significant power difference. How would you handle that? I've seen certain fighters that can depend on just their power alone. Forget tactics. They know the second they touch you, it's done. That's where the confidence comes from. Perfect counter lands. And just as quickly as the action slows down, it heats back up. Some 
nice exchanges from both men in this round. He fails to score with that left hook. That's a scoring left hand. I think it's safe to say one of these fighters certainly has a significant speed advantage. You can tell who it is. Some fighters are just gifted. Gifted with hand speed, footwork, movement. They are gifted. They are the chosen. Oh, Wilder just got clipped, and he's in a world of trouble. I don't know about... And down goes Deontay. Johnny, it was a very close fight until the end. In the end, we get a split decision. These guys are doing their job right. I'd have called it exactly as you know, I might have been around that or two, but these guys have got it right. Well even, even fight, even match. I'd have nodded that as well.